Hey, you guys, time for your health check. Look, we can all agree 2020 has been a lot, okay? Uh, according to a study, Americans are unhappier today than they've been in nearly 50 years. The COVID response tracking study was conducted by NORC at the University of Chicago in late May. So this finds 14% of American adults say they're very happy. That's down from 31% who said the same back in 2018. That year, 23% said they'd often or sometimes felt isolated in recent weeks. Well, now 50% say that, and you know, yeah, we understand why. The study was done before the death of George Floyd as well, which has added to the feelings of stress and loneliness among Americans. But uh, hey, this is why we are asking you to share your reasons to smile with us this morning. We know the study sounds like a big bummer, so let's offset it with some positivity, okay? Uh, plus, remember today, happiness is an inside job. Uh, okay, also, those of you planning a summer vacation, what's the safest way to get there? As the weather heats up, many people are now wondering about summer vacations. But as coronavirus numbers continue to go up in several states, what's safer, driving or flying? Let's connect the dots. The short answer on this is that neither option is 100% safe right now. The coronavirus pandemic is still cause for concern, and there are a lot of things to keep in mind as you make decisions. As one infectious disease expert told CNN, your travel risks at this point depend a lot more on the personal choices of the traveler rather than the type of travel. When it comes to driving to your destination, the risks include stops to eat, drink, use the restroom, and sleep. But there are some benefits. When you drive, you have more control over who's in your environment. And even though you might have to make pit stops, you can limit interactions, choosing drive through instead of dine-in. And if you want, you can use gloves and wipes for any bathroom breaks. But the longer the drive gets, the more interactions you might have. When it comes to flying, you've got a lot less control over your fellow passengers. While airlines have all implemented new safety procedures, you don't really know if the traveler in 2A has been practicing social distancing or using a face mask. Also, enforcement of safety procedures inside airports and airplanes has been uneven. But for travel over long distances and with proper precaution, it could mean less exposure. Either way, before you decide what's best, you'll need to weigh the risks and benefits of traveling right now.